Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good week. So there has been quite a bit of discussion since the first bit of the first chapter, Gods and Monsters, for the new DCU was announced. Um, James Gunn shared a video and you know a lot of people have been talking about the things that were shared on that video I did make a video about that video So if you missed it or you need to get caught up to date go ahead and check that video out it covers everything that James Gunn announced um, To get caught up to date. It's on the channel, but One specific thing in that video that James Gunn mentioned is that the flash movie which he really seems to love Resets the DCU which is what he said don't think that's any surprise. A lot of us expected that to some extent, even before the merger and before all of these changes, right? Um, but now he's kind of walking back on it a little bit and kind of contradicting some of what he said. For instance, there was a comment, I believe, on his uh, Instagram. James, I'm seriously confused. How is Viola Davis still playing Amanda Waller? This is referring to the Waller series that was announced when they shared some of the things that are that they're working on for their new slate. Aren't you rebooting the DCEU 100%? That includes Peacemaker, because she's supposed to team up with Peacemaker in her show, the whole Suicide Squad, and the Snyderverse. Like you, like you said, Robert Pattinson's Batman and Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is Elseworlds' story. So, um, he's referring, this comment is referring to a lot of what was said in this video um, as far as Robert Pattinson's Batman and Joaquin, Joker, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker are Elseworlds um, projects. They will remain outside of the main DCU continuity. And they anything else that is outside of the main DCU continuity, including those two um, universes or movies, will be labeled Elseworlds. Also saying, you know, Peacemaker, The Suicide Squad, which are James Gunn's projects, and the Snyderverse, that, you know, a lot of those things seem to be, are going to be rebooted or changed and yet Amanda Waller and, you know, Peacemaker and the Suicide Squad that James Gunn did are seemingly, you know, sticking around and getting other stories. So how are you keeping that part? But then, you know, saying that the Flash resets the DCU. So James Gunn replied, nope, Flash resets many things, not all things. Some characters remain the same, some do not. So this has been, I think, kind of problematic for a lot of people because it kind of seems like they are very, like really cherry picking things that they want to keep and things that they want to reset, which, you know, they can't, they have, they are allowed to do that. That is an option for having new leadership now at DC. That's an option. I mean, you don't, you know, that we all knew going into this merger and getting new leadership that that was a possibility. Um, but I can, I think it kind of seems like James Gunn is choosing to keep people that are in his projects. And then, you know, maybe with a few others, possibly, I don't know, Shazam is a possibility and... Ezra Miller still seems to be a possibility as The Flash. He also mentioned um, that they didn't completely close the door on whether or not Gal Gadot can re return as Wonder Woman. I don't see, I think that's very unlikely. I don't think she's gonna come back as Wonder Woman. Patty Jenkins is not making another Wonder Woman movie. I don't see Gal Gadot coming back to be Wonder Woman in this universe, I don't know, I just don't. That's just speculation, my personal opinion, but for the stuff that we know is sticking around, for sure, it is, you know, Suicide Squad, Peacemaker, Amanda Waller. Don't get me wrong, I think Amanda Vi uh, Viola Davis is a amazing Amanda Waller. I'm not saying she should be recast or rebooted. It just seems like the stuff that James Gunn chose to keep is stuff that he's already done, characters that he's already introduced. And everyone else is kind of like, oh, well, well, that, that person doesn't fit into what we have. You know what I mean? So I thought there's a tweet from our movie news, which I think kind of sums up maybe what a lot of people are thinking. The problem I have with DC's soft reboot is that for me, they're keeping the weaker parts of the universe and rebooting the strongest parts. I'll still give it a go, but I think I have a very valid reason to be upset and cautious with this biased soft reboot. I think that word, I think that, um... I think this is maybe what a lot of people are thinking or feeling as to why 
it's hard to be a little it's hard to be like hyped about things that they announced even though like i said in my video about um talking about the announcements there are things that are, are intriguing and interesting the supergirl story that they want to do the themyscira um series those things are you know those things sound interesting to me but it's not like oh my god this is so hype level like oh my god this is you know and also i think the green lanterns people will be interested in as well the green lantern show it just i think this is the main reason why people are a lot of a lot of fans not everybody why a lot of fans are not are hesitant to be you know super excited about this soft reboot and we're using the term soft reboot because like he said some things are sticking some things are not some as far as characters and cast goes and in that same vein it also kind of brings up fans feeling like well if you are having elseworlds projects that don't fit into the main dcu continuity such as robert pattinson's batman joker why can't why couldn't henry cavill still have a man of steel sequel that is also elseworlds what's the explanation for that james gunn keeps saying you know henry is not does not fit our superman for a number of reasons he doesn't fit with the superman that i have um that he's writing the script for superman legacy he doesn't fit that superman he's you know he's not the right superman for this story okay but why couldn't he have his own then because they are going to have a batman introduced into this new dcu this new dc universe and it's obviously not going to be Robert Pattinson's Batman because that is remaining... Matt Reeves' Batman stuff is remaining separate. So, you why can't... But they're still going to have Batman with, you know, Damian Wayne, the Brave and the Bold movie. Why couldn't Henry Cavill still have his own Superman movie that he wanted to do? that they let him announce his return for, why couldn't they just keep that as an Elseworlds story as well? And any other things that were, you know, tied into what is now known as the Snyderverse? Why couldn't that be its own Elseworlds um, thing? Because what valid explanation could you give? You know, I just, personally, I think part of it is probably that he doesn't want Henry Cavill's Superman competing with this new Superman that they're going to introduce. I think that would be part of it. That's just, that's not coming from anywhere. That's just what I think. Because I think we all know which Superman people would want to see. And it, I mean, it, the stupid thing is, it doesn't even need to be a competition. Like, this whole competing thing with the Snyderverse and the other DC stuff, and the, I don't under... It's still all DC. So if you're going to have an Elseworlds, if you're saying that you're going to have an Elseworlds label or an Elseworlds corner of this DC universe, it doesn't have to be competing. It doesn't have to be. But I think that, you know, they would still be compared to this new Superman is still going to be compared to Henry Cavill's Superman anyway. So why not give Henry Cavill still his own move? I mean, you're still going to make money from it. Like, I don't understand. I don't think there will ever be a valid explanation for why that cannot be. Why that can't happen. He doesn't have to be part of James Gunn and Peter Safran's main DC universe. And, you know, Robert Pattinson's Batman isn't. Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is not. And I'm sure there will be other things that are going to be labeled Elseworlds stories so you know i don't understand why that is that why that was not a possibility these kind of contradictions and these kind of contradictory statements are making it's it's hard for fans to trust what they say about just things that are happening all of these changes and this you know why some people are sticking around and why some people aren't and Oh, the Flash resets the DCU. Oh, but no, it doesn't. It only resets th some things. But I wanted to share that um, because it is, you know, like I said, there has been a lot of discussion going on. 
since these announcements were made for part of chapter one of their new slate. Oh, uh, side note, Army of the Dead will be um, included in, the, in a Super Bowl ad for Netflix and General Motors ad. So I think that's pretty cool. Just wanted to share that. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the links in the description, um, the channel for anything you might have missed recently. And thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.